Okay. Um, how do exosomes help with pain? Everything, all the products we're talking about, from Wharton's jelly to amniotic fluid to the specific exoglobe product, has exosomes in it. Mm -hmm. Exosomes, for instance, in amniotic fluid, uh, suppress the inflammation, which allows the endogenous, the stem cells that are still there in the cartilage to grow out. And so by giving growth factors that are in those exosomes, and there's, there's about 300 million, billion exosomes in one milliliter of amniotic fluid, they're entirely different than the one billion exosomes. And in fact, I have more TGF-beta-3 in one billion exosomes over in, here in than amniotic in the amniotic fluid. fluid. Right. So you can't really compare numbers to numbers that way. Okay. But they are all effective when using when used at the right place. So amniotic fluid exosomes are, are really an important key to the treatment of um, of joint pain, mm -hmm. and can be combined with other types of exosomes. Wow. So okay. really, when you think about it, I mean, all inflammation can cause some kind of disruption or pain, mm -hmm. right? So if you're getting rid of the inflammation with the exosomes, then you're going to get rid of the pain. Mm -hmm. So if you just kind of think logically, that makes sense. There's, there was a great study done also by the Mayo Clinic that really blew my mind. So they had patients that had nine, eight or nine out of 10 pain in both knees. Okay. And they took their bone marrow and put it in one knee and both knees got mm. better. Yeah. Wow. You know? yeah, I was hearing about that. Well, you've heard that, right? Yeah. Why is that? Because exosomes were leaving the, the joint and, and, there, and bone marrow is very anti-inflammatory because bone marrow has to protect hematopoietic stem cells. They right. can't get inflamed or they'll differentiate and you'll die. So there's all kinds of anti-inflammatory products in bone marrow. So those um, can circulate around the body and suppress inflammation. Okay, so then that goes to another question. I had a patient yesterday who he was getting a pee shot and he also has uh, left hip pain. So he was wondering, well, because it's all in the same area and I'm treating... You probably will see something. The one problem with bone marrow is bone marrow is not regenerative. Right. So it is anti-inflammatory, but it's not going to heal things. Okay. So um, if you want to get rid of some immediate pain, you could use bone marrow. If you really wanted to get pain, rid of pain long term, you would use something else. Okay. Something younger. 